In this tutorial, I will be discussing Dirac's and Orr's theorem. But before proceeding to Dirac's and Orr's theorem, I already discussed Euler and, and Hamiltonian path and circuit, the difference between Euler and Hamiltonian, and the difference between a path and a circuit. In this, in this video, Dirac's and Orr's theorem will define if the graph is a Hamiltonian circuit. So what are Dirac's and Orr's theorem? So a Dirac's theorem is a if a graph with n greater than or equal to three vertices and every vertex having a degree at least n over two is a Hamiltonian circuit. While Orr's theorem, if a simple graph G has n greater than or equal to three vertices such that the sum of degrees of every pair of non-adjacent vertices is greater than or equal to n, then G or graph is Hamiltonian circuit. So the difference between a Dirac theorem and our theorem, in Dirac theorem, we will just be counting on the number of vertices. And while in the or theorem, we will be adding the non-adjacent vertices. I will give examples on how Dirac's theorem and Orr's theorem work. So let's start with Dirac's theorem. Okay, let's look at this graph. Dirac's, so we will be solving this graph by uh, Dirac's theorem. So first, we will be counting the number of uh, vertices. Number of vertices. So the number of vertices is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5. Next, we will count the number of degree for each vertex. So A, we will write first the, ver the vertex. Vertices B, C, D, E. Okay, so how many degree for letter A? 3. For B, 3. For C, 3. For D, also 3. And lastly, for E, 4. How do how did we get that? Or how did we get those? So one, two, three for A. For B. Okay. For B. One, two, three. C. One, two, three. D. One, two, three. E. One, two, three, four. Okay. So how does Dirac's theorem apply to this graph? So let's check if uh, let's look first what is a Dirac theorem is. Dirac's theorem is a is when a graph with uh, n greater than or equal to three vertices and every vertex having their degree at least n over two is a Hamiltonian circuit. So we will compare each vertex to n over two. So let's check. A is 3 greater than or equal to 5 over 2. Yes. So 3. So as for all 3 here are now uh, check. They are uh, they, uh, they already uh, approved the uh, they already passed the condition for E is 4 greater than or equal to 5 over 2 5 over 2 yes so this means this graph is a Hamiltonian circuit and this can be solved by Dirac's theorem So how about, oh, but before that, we will be checking if this is a Hamiltonian circuit or not. So let's first erase this. Okay. Green. For example, A will be our starting point. A, start. So, 
as I said as I said in the previous video uh, Hamiltonian we just have to cover up uh, the vertices but not the edges so let's start so this one we we'll take uh, this path so one next from from C I, either I can I can go either from E or I can either go to E or to D rather so I'll just pick letter E or vertex E rather so uh, one two next from E to D three next from D to B four next last from B to A so we have just solved that this graph is a Hamiltonian circuit and can be solved by Dirac's theorem so how about if a graph does not apply to the condition of a Dirac's theorem does it or will the graph be a Hamiltonian circuit so let's look at another example this is the second example so but first we'll go into label the graph or yeah, the graph A B C D E okay again first we'll count the number of vertices 5 next the degree of each vertex so A, B, C, D, E how many for A? 2 B 3 C also 3 4 2 5 or E rather 2 so I assume you already know how to count the number of degrees of every vertex for every vertex so next we have to compare the degree of vertices if they are greater than or equal to n over 2 so let's start with b and c because they are both uh, 3 3 degrees so is 3 greater than or equal to 5 over 2 yes so check how about a d and e is 2 greater than or equal to 5 over 2? No. So it means that this graph cannot be solved by Dirac's theorem. This graph cannot be solved by Dirac theorem. But does it mean that this graph is not a Hamiltonian circuit? does it mean that this graph is not a Hamiltonian circuit okay let's solve it so we'll start from A so from A we can go to B or C so I'll take B vertex B so I label it number one next from B I go to letter D D so I'll label it, label it to D to E number three E to C number 4 next C to A 5 so we just ended where we started so we can conclude that this graph this graph is a Hamiltonian circuit so looking at the graph Dirac's theorem cannot be applied but it shows that this graph is a Hamiltonian circuit the purpose of a uh, Dirac's theorem is to prove that the graph is sufficiently a Hamiltonian circuit. So, uh, in the next video, I will be giving an example on how uh, Orr's theorem works. So, uh, I hope you understand our lesson. So, thank you.